high when the Israelites had conquered the land of Canaan. Instead of being grateful to God and follow the law or Torah, they each started doing what was good in their own eyes. During that time, they would have judges that were sort of like superheroes at times. Think of Samson. Now, these judges would rule the land for a period of time. One of them was Jephthah in Judges 11 and 12. He made a really crazy vow to God. It got really crazy. Watch this short video and at the end I'm going to share a passage which tells you what to do if you made one of these crazy stupid vows. So what happened to Jephthah? Well, he fought a war against the Ammonites and won. He had made a vow to God that if he would win the battle, the next thing that would walk out of his house, he would sacrifice to God as a burnt offering. I don't think he thought through that very well. So you guess what happened? He won the war and when he came to his house, the first thing that walked through the door is his only daughter. He kept his vow, and after two months, he sacrificed her. That was really stupid. What if a pig had walked through the door of his house? Would he have sacrificed a pig as a burnt offering to God? That's unthinkable in the Jewish biblical culture. A pig was the most disgusting animal possible. You don't sacrifice that to God. Then there was the high priest, another Jewish council. Why didn't he go to them and explain the stupid vow and find out how to get out of that. The book of Deuteronomy 18 verse 10 talks about not sacrificing your child to God. God did not want this. So finally, what do you do when you've made a stupid vow? Proverbs 6 verses 1 through 5 talk about this. It says, Do this now, my son, and deliver thyself. When thou art come into the hand of thy friend, go humble thyself. And make sure thy friend give not sleep to thine eyes, nor slumber to thine eyelids. Deliver thyself as a roe from the hands of the hunter, and as a bird from the hand of the fowler. So go and free yourself. Get counsel, get help. God does not want you to sin in order to fulfill a vow. Of course, the big lesson is to be very careful what you promise God. It's very serious. If you like this video and you learn stuff, be sure to subscribe if you haven't done so already. And now we have another video that you want to see. It's about one of the most confusing topics in the Bible, about repentance. Be sure to watch this video. God bless you. Bye-bye.